So this is very interesting. Scientists have discovered that the universe is winding down. It's called entropy. And they have this, this, this brings a lot of things to light. And I've been studying this because I'm preparing for my series called The Meaning of Life. And I can't wait till we get there. I got a lot of new stuff to add and to, to comment on. But they've discovered that the universe is winding down. This tells them that it was wound up. It also tells them that it was not, it's not eternal. That's a big deal. If the universe is not eternal, then it had a beginning. They still can't understand how it began. They don't know what initiated. Of course, we do. Uh, it was God himself who said, you know, in the beginning, uh, God created the heavens and the earth. And so there's this big bang that happened right after he said that. So they know there's a beginning. They know that the universe is winding down. And for it to wind down, it had to be wound up. And for it to be wound up, someone had to wind it. And, uh, of course, that was God, not some impersonal force, and it wasn't some accidental explosion. But the point here is it's winding down because it's going to be recreated. It's going to be folded up. It's going to come to an end. And the reason it is is because of sin. Sin not only uh, separated us from God. Sin not only made it necessary for us to be born again. It changed our nature uh, as human beings to sinners, so we have to be born again. Sin uh, caused our bodies to be mortal. In other words, our bodies have to be born again or remade. And sin affected the entire creation. So the whole universe is going to have to be reborn or remade. We call that the new heavens and the new earth. But the reason is, is because of sin. Um, and so Scientists have literally discovered that the universe is winding down, so it hasn't always existed and it won't always exist. It's going to be destroyed or folded up here, it says. He'll be, you'll fold them up like a, like a cloak, like a used garment. They'll be folded up and then, uh, and then God's going to make a new heavens and a new earth. Amazing. Here's what it says in 2 Peter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens, the universe, will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be? So uh, God is going to destroy this creation by fire. And you say, well, you know, now, now this is not talking about heaven, the city of God, where God dwells, where Jesus went to prepare a place for us. It's not that heaven. Sin never entered into the city of God. It's never been corrupted. It's the eternal city. So when he says heavens here, he's talking about the starry heavens or the universe. So the universe and all of its planets and galaxies has been corrupted by sin, by the sin of, of Adam and the sin of humanity. And so the, just like you're, you have to be born again in your spirit, your body's got to be revitalized or reborn, so the whole universe is going to have to die and be remade or reborn. Jesus paid for all of this. Whatever sin did to you, whatever sin did to me, to humanity, to the earth, to the universe, to our bodies, Jesus undid. He paid the price or He redeemed these things back. So just like your body is paid for and you're going to get a new one, the universe too is paid for and we're going to get a new one. That won't happen until after the millennium, but it is going to happen. And it is an exciting it's exciting to think about. Uh, and so Peter is bringing this out. He's saying, here's how it's going to happen. It's going to be destroyed by fire. So fire is going to dissolve the entire universe. And man, I don't have time to talk to you about how big the universe is. I've been studying that and it's just mind-blowing how big it is and, and, and how it's expanding in every direction. But it's going to, it's going to be remade or reborn. It's going to be destroyed and reborn. Here's another scripture that talks about this. Isaiah 65 verse 17. God says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come to mind. So uh, God's going to make a new one. You say, well, why should he? Because sin uh, 
polluted it. Sin had an impact on everything that God made. You know, I, I say, I've said this before, but sin is not as bad as you thought it was. It's worse. What happened in the Garden of Eden when man sinned, it literally ruined everything that God had spent all this time making. It corrupted it all. And so God is going to redo it rather than give up on his plan and say, you know what, you, I, I tried to give you guys a home. I've made, I put you in paradise and this is the thanks I get. You, the first chance you get, you go off and sin and you've ruined everything. And now we can't fellowship and creation itself is cursed. Everything I did is now cursed. Forget it. He could have just wiped his hands of it. He could have just destroyed humanity, destroyed the universe and gone on. But that's not the kind of God we serve. God decided, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to pay for it myself. 